hello friends welcome back to vfx pipeline channel and this video we will keep continue with our django rest api series and this video is very important because here i will show you how you can protect your data using authentication methods which is comes with django rest framework and how you can protect for example right now our server is running and if you go to this url and if you run and you can see the data but that's what we don't want we want a proper authentication in front of our apis if user is not uh, authenticated then he or she will not able to view the data and that's what we will protect that but how are we going to do that it's very simple just follow this step and you will also get that okay let's just go to the project st structure and uh, find out your settings.py perfect you have the settings.py first of all you need to import install one app which is rest framework and you might wondering rest framework you already have but you need to add using auth token so you need to add this also and don't forget to add comma so we will create a uh, I mean we will use auth token and the reason we are using this because in our future video our upcoming video we are going to access this api using python requests library so there we will provide authentication token in header and that will with that way we are able to get data securely okay so now we added already inside the installed app rest framework dot auth token and then go end of the settings.py and there you need to put some option for rest framework i will just copy from my location and I will paste it so i will explain you what is this this is basically you need to provide some uh, some settings for rest framework and this first thing is you need to provide default permission classes and the permission class if you provide that which is uh, rest framework permission is authenticated so with that a uh, rest framework will look for if that uh, if user have enough permission or not then the second one is we need to provide the authentication classes by which method you can access the data i mean one is the basic authentication which is username and password based second one is the session authentication that means if the same website if user logged in anywhere else in any other tab then they can access that uh, same rest api without any issue and token authentication that is important for python request library so these three must be added there and then we are good to go suddenly you notice that our pycharm is showing us hey you have two unapplied migration that we need to apply because we added rest framework auth token inside our install app but this required a table inside our database so if you see here we don't have token table here so we need to add that for that you know what to do you can go to manage.py make migration auth uh, just use make migrations and migrate make migration and migrate and you see that auth token is initialized here just refresh and we are able to see auth token token right now this is empty because there is no user logged in so far so this part is done now let's just go and refresh our url and see that is working or not perfect now we see that it's asking for a username and password and uh, if you don't provide username and password you will see that authentication credential were not provided which is now our data is secured if you add username and password then only you can access otherwise you cannot so let's just test so this is why we uh, this username and password this is appearing because let's just uh, hide this go back to the end because we enable basic authentication now first instead of going here let's just go to session authentication I, I want to give you an example of session authentication let's just duplicate that and here use admin 
and here let's just log in so in one tab i already log in in that website i mean my main website which is this at this moment okay now uh, let's just cancel that and if i refresh i'm able to see the data because we allow using session authentication one of the tab if login then you can use that now let's just go there and log out and if you refresh that again you will see that you are unauthorized you cannot see the data perfect so third one is the token authentication that i will cover in my next video where we will create some request based function inside our i mean it, it it will be a different app so i mean from website from rest api side we are done that's it for the rest api now we will just see how uh, we can use this inside our client side application so for example we will create one pyqt based uh, simple uh, maybe we can create a tree widget and we will populate all the user information inside tree widget that will be a good example correct okay so to follow that please subscribe my channel and i will see you in my next video thank you guys